Hi there, uh, in this video I'm going to go through question 24 on the 2012 iMac paper. So for this question, uh, we're told that Tom shares some money between his three children in the ratio of 5 to 3 to 2. And then later he gave an extra 6 euros to the child, the third child who received the least money originally. And this meant that the money had been split into one large share and two smaller shares of equal size. And we want to know how much money in total did Tom give to his three children. Okay, so what do we want to work out and what are our unknowns? Well, that's just the amount of money that Tom shared, right? So let's give that a name so that we can actually work with it. Okay, so I'm going to call capital M the amount of money that Tom shares between his children originally. So the amount that was shared in the ratio of 5 to 3 to 2. And now we have this uh, M representing the total amount of money. How much did each child get uh, originally? So the easiest way would just be to notice that 5 plus 3 plus 2 gives us 10. So if the total amount M was divided by 10, then the first child would get 5 lots, the second would get 3 lots, and the third child would get 2 lots. I.e. child number 1 would get 5 tenths of the total amount M, or 0.5 M, depending on what's easier for you. Child 2 would get 3 tenths M, and child 3 would get 2 tenths M. So this is how much each child got originally, uh, but then Tom gave an extra 6 euros to the third child who received the least money originally. And then after he did that, the two smaller shares were equal in size. So how can we write that in terms of our M's? Well, if child number 3 got an extra 6 euros and they had 2 tenths M originally, then that means that now they will have 2 tenths M plus an extra 6. And now the two smaller shares are the same size. Now, do we know automatically which are the two smaller shares? Now, maybe your first thought, like mine, was just to think that, oh, it's child 3's share and child 2's share. Um, but that answer isn't immediately obvious. Because it could be that by giving child 3 the extra 6 euros, uh, child 3 now has the most money, in which case child 1 and child 2 would have the two smaller equal sized shares. But is that possible for uh, child 1 and child 2 to have equally sized shares? Well, no, of course not. That would be silly because then that would mean 0.5m would be equal to 0.3m, which isn't possible if m isn't 0. So we do get pretty quickly that child 2 and child 3 have the two smaller shares. But it's not the only possibility. Um, but now that we know that child 2 and child 3 have equal shares, that means we can put this uh, equal to child 2 share, so 3 over 10. And now we have an equation for m, which we can solve. Uh, so first I'm going to multiply through by 10. So that's why I've written it in fractions rather than decimals, because it's a bit easier to see for me. So multiplying through by 10, I get 2m plus 60 equals 3m, and just rearranging that gives us that m is equal to 60. So we've worked out m, but we don't have our answer yet, because remember m was the amount of money that Tom shared originally. And quite honestly, when I was doing this question for the first time, I forgot about this. Um, but remember, Tom gave out an extra 6 euros. So the total money that Tom gave to his children would be this m, the 60 euros, plus this extra 6 euros. So that's 66 in total. So the answer is E.